Oreo. Adopted. Half-breed. Mutt. Wigga. Mulatto. Hi, my name is Malia Ojo. I am the writer-director of the film Mulatto. When I first thought of this story, it was years ago, and I was scared to share it because I wasn't sure that there was other people that went through the same things I went through. And then as I started sharing my story more, I realized that more people than I thought went through the exact same things that I did. So I wanted to be able to create a platform for other people that are scared to say how they're feeling or think that they're like alone feeling it by themselves. Um, I also wanted to make this film because there was someone that was supposed to work on this with us and unfortunately recently he passed away and he, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been able to make this film in the first place. He really pushed me to do it and he believes strongly in this topic as well. And so I just wanted to dedicate this film to him. Um, I love you, Zach, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. Most mixed kids have been called at least one of these during their childhood. These words are used to separate mixed kids from the rest of society. You always see movies and stories about black kids, Hispanics, or Asians going through discrimination. But no one seems to notice the discrimination and issues mixed kids go through in adolescence. That is the purpose of this film. Mulatto is about a young girl learning what it means to be mixed in 2012. Where you're either accepted as black or white, but not both. No longer having friends that accept her. And having a family that doesn't understand. She must conform to what society wants her to be. Or stand alone and be herself. Everyone knows what it's like growing up. Not really fitting in. But aching to be accepted. We've all been there. Whether you're the one unintentionally forcing someone to conform to society, or if you're the one conforming yourself. Almost most people go through it. There's still a lot of people that feel as if they're the only ones struggling and we want the film to show them that they are not alone. Which brings us to funding. As you may know, making a film is expensive, so we need your help. We have three different locations to shoot at, as well as a lot of extras and seven main talent. So to make it as authentic as possible, we need money to make it work. We have an Indiegogo page set up to donate to. As well as Venmo. Anything helps. And thank you so much in advance for donating. Let's, Let's make, make a film! Let's make a film!